So hello, Floricia, how are you today? How's everything? Everything good? Is not raining there? No está lloviendo por ahí. <laughs> Is not raining? Aquí empezaba a llover, pero eh, de repente se fue la lluvia. So I don't know what happened with the rain. So, eh, hello, hello, Ana Ramos. Hello, Diana, Patricia. So, how are you today? Everything good? Everything good so far? Yes? Yes, can you hear me very well? So, yesterday, what we were talking about yesterday. ¿Qué hablamos ayer? ¿Se recuerdan? ¿De qué tema? What was the topic yesterday? What was uh, one important expression? What were the vocabulary? Uh, what was the topic about yesterday? No sé si tienen alguna duda con la platform. Do you have any question with the platform? ¿Tienen dudas con la plataforma? O uh, doubts about the last topic. Okay. ¿Tiene alguna duda con el tema de ayer? Uh, any doubt? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Diana Patricia? Everything good? No feel good. Okay. But... Ah, okay. Yes, I understand. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's okay. That's nice. So, I'm going to start with the PowerPoint presentation. And todo lo que se une el resto, ¿verdad? So, welcome to the online English program in pre-intermediate module two, session number seven, November 29th, 2023, right? Entonces tenemos la sesión siete. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. General information, my name, the schedule from Monday to Friday. Don't forget that we have classes on Friday. And also we have two uh, time for a uh, complete the platform, right? Hay que completar la plataforma. Uh, so the, in the seventh day, November 29, we have the greeting, welcome, general instructions, review, warm up, tone twister. We have a tone twister. Tone twister is like a Pablito cal, Calabón Clavito en la cabeza de un calvito. That is a tone twister. Attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, vocabulary, platform exercises, and where were you? The topic about as a review about yesterday, feedback. Close it in five minutes for advices, right? Excellent, very good. The specific objective, uh, asking for and getting information about activities in past, in simple past. Discuss with regular and irregular verbs, snapshots, and grammar focus. Complete some grammar exercises in the platform and identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations, right? Okay, that's nice. And the objectives for today, what are we doing today? So uh, participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about the last class. Participants will be able to talk using past simple and regular and irregular verbs. Practice and create a conversation based in a model dialogue, complete reading, Exercise and listening. Repeat some vocabulary, expressions, and complete some exercises in the platform. And feedback then. Giving information about homework assigned in platform or homework assigned in class. Entonces tenemos this activity. That is a tongue twister. So, uh, so this one uh, is an activity that we're gonna, uh, the activity that we're going to start, right? Okay, Martinez, okay, Martinez, no problem. Okay, so uh, this one is a tongue twister that we're gonna uh, repeat it later on, right? Ya la vamos a repetir. Ahorita vamos a ver, uh, we're going to uh, have the review about, the, about yesterday's class, about this picture that you have in WhatsApp group. Right? So you already have this picture in the WhatsApp group that is about regular verbs, right? So yesterday we were talking the spelling notes. In English, you typically double the consonant at the end of a one-syllable word 
when you have one vowel between two consonants. Good evening, example, teacher. Hi, good evening, Maria Wendy. Hello, how are you? Hi, thank you. Okay, that's nice. Excellent, perfect. Okay, so for example, you have a stop. So you have to W the, the letter P because you have a consonant, but one consonant, right? Stopped. And the pronunciation is like an extra T, stopped. Or a multi-syllable word that is stressed on the last syllable before adding ED. For example, preferred, preferred. Este no le duplicamos la F porque eh, aunque termine en consonante, vocal consonante, no le ponemos doble F por la entonación, por el acento, podrías decir, ¿verdad? No decimos prefer, sino que decimos prefer. That's the reason why. Por, esa es la razón por qué no le duplicamos a algunas palabras la última letra, ¿verdad? So yesterday we were talking about ED pronunciation. The pronunciation rule for the ED ending in regular verbs in English is as follows, right? Tenemos tres pronunciaciones para la ED. Es lo que estábamos revisando, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos, si, si usted se aprende, la, lo cual es terminan en ir, o sea, que la ED se pronuncia ir, cuando la ED se pronuncia t, como una T, las demás serían estas, ¿verdad? Las de en medio. Entonces, todo verbo terminado en T y en D es ir, start it, start it, end it, right? End it. Y el otro, todo verbos terminados en P, por ejemplo, jump, jumped, walk, walked, miss, missed. Finish, finished. Wash, washed. Laugh, laughed. Sniff, sniffed. Slide, slight. Mix, mix. Todos los que terminan en estas letras, la ED se va a pronunciar como una T. Esta imagen ya la tienen ahí en el WhatsApp. Y todo el resto, todo el resto de las letras, like B, G, M, N, R, B, W, Y, N, C, todas estas se van a pronunciar, si se le agregamos ED, la ED se va a pronunciar como una D. Grab, grabbed. Have, have, climb, climbed, plan, planned, prefer, refer, move, move, show, showed, play, play, pass. Aquí se viene la lluvia, no sé si donde ustedes está lloviendo. It's raining over there. No. No, no, teacher. Ok. Si no me escuchan, me avisan entonces. Entonces, para... para Where do you live, teacher? Ah, I live in Apopa. Oh, Apopa. In Apopa. Sí, sí. Apopa. In Apopa, sí está lloviendo. Ah, yes. Between Apopa and Soyapango. I live between the two cities. And also, uh, I, I live uh, near Ciudad Delgado. My DUI, my ID says Ciudad Delgado. Okay? Me avisan si no me... I'm going to close uh, the window. So... Read them, please. If you have any question about the PD pronunciation, let me know. I'm going to close the window. Okay. If it rains, it's hard. If it rains, it's hard. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to change the room because it's raining hard. So. Okay, do you have any question about this? Tiene alguna otra pregunta con respecto a la terminación ED? Do you have more questions about ED? Tiene preguntas con la terminación ED? Or oh, everything is clear? Not teacher. Not teacher. Okay. Very good. The ED, me tuve que cambiar de cuarto porque. Eh, allá es lámina y se escucha más fuerte la lluvia. Okay, give me a second, please. So, the ED has three pronunciations, right? La ED tiene tres pronunciaciones. So, the pronunciation that we studied yesterday, right? Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay. So, as I, I was telling you at the beginning, so the ED has three pronunciations, right? As a, uh, si el verbo termina en T o en D, la ED es E, started, ended. Y si la, si la, 
if the verbs end in P, K, W, S, S, H, C, H, G, F, F, C, and X, the ED, the pronunciation of ED is going to be as a letter T, right? Jump, jumped, walk, walked, miss, missed, finish, finished, watch, watch, laugh, laughed, a sniff, sniffed, Sly, sliced, mix, mixed. Es como que tiene una T extra, ¿verdad? Si todos los verbos terminan en estas letras, la ED es como una T extra. Si termina el verbo en T o ende, la ED es como una I, started, ended. Si se aprende esto y esto, los demás van en la en, a mediación de eso, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. So we're going to move. Hello, good evening, everyone. We are going to move about this one, about this material. Here we have a, the tongue twister. Okay, oops. Se fue. Now, the tongue twister is like, for example, when you have a Pablito clavo un, un, un clavito en la cabeza de un calvito. That is a tongue twister, right? Now, repeat that for me. Sí, rapidito, ¿verdad? ¿no? Fresh fry fish. Fish, eh, fresh, fry. Fresh, fry, fish. fish. Uh -huh. Fish, fresh, fish, fry. Fresh, fry. Fish, fresh, 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 Fry fish fresh. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fresh. Fish fry fresh. Okay, vamos a repetir la the first two sentences. Fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Fresh fry fish. Fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Fish fresh fry. Fry. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fresh. Okay, aquí, aquí, este, aquí se le acaba el aire, ¿verdad? En esta de fresh fry, fish, en esta una se confunde, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, one more time. Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry. Fresh fresh fry, fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Okay, fish fry fresh, right? Fish fry fresh. Eh, es frito, verdad? Fresco, pescado fresco frito, algo así. Y ahí se va combinando, right? Now the last one, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Okay, practíquela, practíquela en su casa. Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Aquí se, se acaba el aire. No sé por qué, pero en esta siempre se acaba el aire. Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh. Yes, okay. Okay, I, I, I understand the situation, Blanca. Fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Yes, you can practice, right? Okay, uh, yes, right? Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry. Fresh, fresh, fry, fish, fresh, fry. Fry, fish, fresh, fish, fry, fry. Fish, fry, fresh. Very good. Very good, Karina. Excellent. I don't know if you've seen video, but... Ah, okay, no problem. It's okay. It's the tongue twister. Traba lengua, ¿verdad? Es para soltar las pronunciaciones en inglés. That's the reason why we use it. I'm going to send it the tongue twister to the group, right? It's okay. So you can practice... Your pronunciation later on, right? Ah, Ingrid mandó un mensaje, ¿verdad? Okay, maybe it's raining in other cities, right? Es posible que esté lloviendo en otros, en otros eh, lados, ¿verdad? But it's okay, don't worry. En Ilopango, teacher. En Ilopango it's raining. In teacher, Soya Pango, this... too? Yes. Sí, dígame. Tell me. Teacher. Este, sí, aquí mi compañero Armando me acaba de decir que se fue la luz también. Ah, ok. Está bien, no, pro, no hay problema. No se preocupe por eso. Yo entiendo. I understand. Don't worry about it. Si, si vuelve la luz, entonces, que se, uh, se agregue después. No hay problema por eso. Ok. That's nice. Very good. Yes, vale, ya le digo. Bueno. Sorry. Estoy buscando el, el, el trabalenguas para enviárselos. Okay, so, um, so do you have any question about yesterday's class? ¿Qué vimos en la clase de ayer? ¿Se recuerdan? Uh -huh. 
Eh, okay, what do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerda de ayer? The dialogue. The, the conversation. What was the conversation, conversation about? Uh -huh, the conversation. What else? Um, Aquí está. Okay, let me see. The group it's eight to nine sharp, right? Ahí les envío el tongue twister al, al grupo de WhatsApp. You go. Ahí está. Ahí lo tienen. Okay. Excellent, very good. So, if you have any question about regular or irregular verbs or about the platform, let me know, right? Estamos con gusto y les ayudamos con la plataforma. Así que no se preocupe. Okay, so, uh, so we're gonna, uh, so you have a homework for tomorrow, right? Now, what is the homework for tomorrow? The homework is this. Complete this is the homework. Sentences. Espérenme, ya lo voy a proyectar. Okay, new shirt. Okay, here we go. The PowerPoint presentation. So the homework is to write two sentences. Es igual a la anterior. Is to write two sentences using one of this expression and using one of this expression, right? So using one of this expression and using the other expressions. Okay, is clear what is the homework? Sorry, here we go. So we have a, um, so you have a, a phrases for expressing, for expressing contrast, right? No sé si las logran ver. Está muy pequeño. <laughs> okay, aquí va. So express, uh, phrases for expressing contrast. Uh, Puede ayudarme, Nelson Rutil, a ayudar a uh, leerlas. However, in spite of, despite, even though. Uh, however, in spite, spite of, uh -huh. the spy? Spy, spy over the self even though uh -huh. even even though yes on, on the one hand on the other hand yes why while on the con contrary, contrary in comparison com comparison in comparison, comparison. so in you comparison. have a meaning here right these are for contrast for example you have Jen didn't, Jen didn't want to go to the theater. However, she loved the play, right? In spite of her behavior, I forgave her, right? Now, the next ones. Can you help me to read them, please? Eh, voluntario, que me ayude a leer estas? Or, either, or, neither, nor. A volunteer to I read the it. expressions. I'm a teacher. Okay, Hi. Maria, Wendy, help me, please. Either, neither, whether. Uh, or. Yes. Either. Uh -huh. Neither. Uh -huh. Whether. Uh, whether. Or, or else. Or else. Perfect. Otherwise. Otherwise. Excellent. Nice pronunciation in otherwise. Excellent. Very good, Maria. Thank you so much, Mary. Okay, so I'm going to move to the other room. I'm moving to the other room for because the raining has stopped. Okay. So you have here. Se ve como un eco en este, ¿verdad? The echo. So, here you have a, a, the homework. The homework is that you are going to write a, <clears throat> one sentence of this expression and one sentence of this expression. Va, va a escoger una de estas expresiones y va a escribir una oración. Similares a los ejemplos. Para, for tomorrow. Va a escoger una de estas. For alternatives. <laughs> Y va, va a escribir una oración ¿verdad? igual a estos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Similar to these examples. So, in the alternatives, you have or, either or, neither nor, whether or, or else, otherwise. Así como dijo Mary, otherwise. Por ejemplo, tenemos neither and nor. Mira lo que significa ni en ni. Neither Jane nor Sarah will help me, right? Aunque son dos, dos palabras diferentes, significan lo mismo. En español usamos lo, las mismas, ¿ok? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Questions? No questions. ¿No? ¿Es clear the activity? ¿Está clara la actividad para mañana? Escribir una oración y escribir una oración. ¿Yes? Un ejemplo podría ser, che, while I study English, I don't like to be interrupted. 
Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Perfect. Yes. While I am studying English, I don't like to be interrupted. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Now, so we are going to move to this part. Nos vamos a mover a esta parte aquí. Déjeme ver. Uh, very good. Thank you. So, uh, nice pronunciation, Mary. Nice pronunciation. Okay, so you have a uh, here. What what did you do yesterday? Uh, so uh, what did you do yesterday, right? Or you can pronounce this because you have a, the letter T and D between two vowels. La puede pronunciar porque tiene la T y la W entre dos vocales. What do you do? What do you do yesterday? So another alternative, another pronunciation for this is what did you do? Yesterday, so this one, right? As a question, what did you do yesterday? Now it's another pronunciation for what did you do yesterday? Si usted dice what did you do yesterday, it's okay, no problem. The gringo can understand, but the gringo, the gringo people, the American people, they say what did you do yesterday? Y cuando usted dice, cuando usted lo une todo así, lo enlaza, lo amarra todo, ahí es cuando ya no lo entendemos, ¿verdad? Los gringos. Entonces, este, puede decirlo, what did you do yesterday, and it's okay, or what did you do yesterday, de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Now, so we have uh, the three pronunciations about the past, uh, for example, you have a, I work every day. I work. Termina en K, I worked yesterday. What did you do yesterday? I worked, okay? Now with the pronunciation, play the piano. I play the piano every day in present. Now in past, I played, I played the piano yesterday. Como es, termina en Y, la ED es una D. I rest every day, I rested every day. Porque es una T, es rested. Vamos a ver. So, usted me va le leyendo esto, y usted, este otra persona va a contestar. Por ejemplo, cook, I cooked. What did you do yesterday? I, uh, I typed. Type, typed, right? So, vamos a ver quién es. Ah, no pude. Se me olvidó hacer una aplicación que tengo que los escoge así al azar. Así que ni modo. Así que este, los primeros voluntarios son Nelson y Ana Ramos. <ríe> Sorry, Nelson y Ana Ramos. Ok. okay. So, uh, yes. Now the question. Nelson lea la pregunta. Es this question. What, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Ana Ramos. Dime, chat. Ana Ramos, uh -huh. what did you do yesterday? I... I cook, the number one, I cooked. Repita después de mí, Ana Ramos. Así I corto. Cooked. I, cook. I cooked. I cooked. Oh, yes. I, 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 I cooked. I cooked. Ok, la pregunta, Ana Ramos, a Armando, what did you do yesterday? Usted le va a preguntar a Armando. Ana Ramos, a Armando. What did you do yesterday, Armando? Excellent. Yesterday at work. Uh -huh, yesterday at work. And in the number two, what did you do in the number two, according with the number two? I wash my, wash my car. Yes, right? In pasado, wash or washed? Washed. Washed, because you have I a SH. Si termina en K, en SH, en X, la ED se pronuncia como una. La sale de T, right? Now, the next question, Armando, ask the next question too. Uh, when Maria, Mary, I fixed my bicycle. A Maria Wendy. Armando to Maria what Wendy. What did you do yesterday, Maria Wendy? I fixed. I fixed, fixed my bicycle. Fixed. Yes, very good. Thank you. I fixed my bicycle. Very good. I Maria fixed Wendy. my bicycle. Ask the question to Diana Stephanie, please, about the number four, brushed. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Diana? Diana, yo o la otra Diana? Uh, uh, Diana, uh, Steph, Diana, Stephanie, Salmerón. Okay, I no, brushed no. my teeth. Excellent, right? I brushed my teeth, right? Okay, Diana, hágale la pregunta a Jaime Iván for the number five. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Number five. <laughs> I watch TV. Okay, Jaime Iván, ask the question yeah. to Blanca Stephanie. Uh, How did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Okay, 
Blanca Stephanie, I typed. Yo dijiste, I typed. I typed. Perdón. Solo va a decir, I typed. Eh, repíteme la pregunta. Okay, ok, repeat the question. I Jaime, type. Iván. Eh, what, did you, what did you do yesterday? Number six. I typed the number six. Teacher, es que me está fallando bastante la señal aquí. Se me está ah. cortando bastante. Ok, I, entendemos a Blanca. Okay? Usted solo va a decir I typed. Solo es I typed. ¿Me escucha? I typed. Excellent, very I good. Typed. Nice. Excellent. Imelda puede hablar. Can you talk, Imelda? Sí. Yes, no, yes. Ok. What did you do yesterday, Imelda? Se me va a decir yo bailé. I danced. Ok, thank you. Thank you so much. Ok. Now, eh, Karina Beatriz, hágale la pregunta a eh, Floricia Mengíbar. Can you talk, Floricia? Ok. What, what did what you do yesterday? Get, what did you do yesterday, Floricia? Um, I bake. I, I bake. Ok, excellent, very good. Ok, estas son las que pronuncian con T, la E de como con T, ¿verdad? Porque terminan esas letras. Y tenemos estas, mire, tenemos shout, shout it, rest, rest it, plant, plant it, flowers, wait, wait it, porque tenemos la T entre dos vocales, queda entre la I y la E, ED. Entonces tenemos shout, shout it, gritar, ¿verdad? So, what did you do yesterday? Vamos a ver las últimas ya eh, participaciones. Ok, eh, Ronald, puede hacerle la pregunta a Armando. What did you do yesterday, Armando? Uh -huh. yes. I shouted. I shouted. I shouted. Okay. Armando, ask the question to uh, Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez. Marisol, what did you do yesterday? La 18 sería, ¿verdad? I, yo descansé. I rest. I rest. I rest. Rest it. Repita después de I... mí, Marisol. I rest it. I rest it. Excellent. Hágale la pregunta a Ronald Alexander. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Alexander? I planted flowers. <laughs> I plant flowers. Ok, eh, vamos a ver. Eh, un voluntario que responda la siguiente. Porque hay varios listeners today. No sé si Tamar, a Tamar o Rosa. Tamar o Rosa. Tamar o Rosa. O Ingrid Meralda o Marisol de Los Ángeles. Yo, teacher. Karina y Amilet. Ok, Karina y Amilet. Eh, ask the question to... Quiero ver quién puede responder. No sé si Marisol de Los Ángeles. Yes. Ok, vamos a ver. Entonces, Karina, pregúntele. What did you do yesterday, Marisol? What did you... What did you yesterday, Marisol? Ajá, uh -huh. what did you do yesterday? Entonces va a decir, I waited for the bus. The number 20. I waited. For the I bus. Waited. Waited. ¿Quién iba a responder? Marisolva. Yes, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I waited. I waited. O I waited I mean, for I the waited. bus. I, I waited for the bus. Excellent. Very good. Now, what's the matter? So, uh, you have a I work every day. We work every day. You work every day. They work every day. So he works every day, she works every day, it works every day. This one is simple present, right? Simple present. Now in simple past is work, work. I worked work. yesterday. They worked yesterday, she work. worked yesterday. Como se puede ver, no hay conjugación, sino que es el mismo verbo, ¿verdad? Now listen to this conversation. How does they be feel? Not so good. What's the matter? He has a bad cake. He has a bad cake. A bad cake. How did he get it? How did he get it? He played basketball all day. He played basketball all day. Esta es como una de extra, ¿verdad? Una de extra para played. Played. Okay. How did he get it? How did he get it? A bad cake. Un dolor de espalda. What's the matter? What's the matter? Not so good. Okay, one more time. Listen, repítelo ahí en su casa. How does David feel? 
How does How they, does they, they, they feel? feel? How does they feel? Not so good. Not, Not so good. So good. good. What's the matter? What's, What's the, the matter? matter? Okay, he has a bad cake. He <laughs> has, has a bad cake. A bad cake. How did he okay. get it? How, How did he, he get it? How did he get it? Okay. He, get it. He, he played basketball all day. He, he played, 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 played basketball all day. All day. Excellent, very good. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to practice this conversation in the groups. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Tiene preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? No. No questions? Sí, la letra, la letra, no. He has a bad, bad, bad cake. Bad cake. Bad cake. Bad cake. Bad cake. Ajá, bad cake. cake. Al final, cake. Back, and like this, cake. Bad cake. Like, like this, bad cake. This is the, the like the pronunciation, right? Bad cake, the bad cake. Okay, I'm gonna send you the photo because I couldn't make the screenshot. So I'm gonna send it to the group. So uh, here you have a, this conversation. How does David feel? ¿Cómo se siente David? Entonces, allí le puede cambiar el nombre David por, por, por otro compañero de sus clases. Eh, not so good. What's the matter? He has a bad cake. En vez de bad cake, ¿qué podría? ¿Otra padecimiento? ¿Another ailment? Headache. Ok. Earache. Earache. Ajá. En vez de earache. Ajá. En vez de, ajá. En vez de bad cake, puede poner earache. Dolor de oído, ¿verdad? Earache. En vez de bad cake. A stomachache. Dolor de estómago. A stomachache. ¿Qué más? Earache. Bad. Ah. Okay. The flu. The flu. Dolor de cabeza, how do you say that in English? Headache. 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 He has a headache. Headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. Right. A headache. Or migraine. Migraine or headache. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms for practice this conversation. I will enviar a los breakup rooms para practicar la conversación. Okay. Is clear? Yes. Now, in the breakup rooms, Usted ahí tiene en el WhatsApp, ya tiene su, la, fo, la, la, foto, la foto de esta conversación, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok. Yes. Excellent, very good. Now, vamos a ver. Hay algunos que están de listener. Listen, just listening, right? Ok, en este grupo número cuatro, Imelda, ¿me escucha? ¿Se puede quedar, Imelda? Aquí me quedan dos, aquí me quedan tres. Imelda. Ronald Alexander, ¿me escucha? A mí no me apareció. Yes. No, todavía no lo he enviado, todavía no lo he enviado. Solo ah, es que okay. Estoy viendo ahorita. Aníbal Martínez se queda en el breakout room. Ok, ya abrí el breakout room. Una C para yes, practicar okay. la conversación que está en WhatsApp. Ok. Right. So, Ronald, quédese para practicar. Sí, eh, yes. Puede volver a enviar. Eh, que le di. Ah, para pero... cerrar. ah pues lo voy a cerrar. Ah, una... oh, pero me quiero ver. Usted es. Aníbal. Perdón. Aníbal. Aníbal, Aníbal, Aníbal. Quiero ver, Aníbal, ¿dónde está Aníbal? Si no, quédese aquí, Aníbal, y practique con... Ah, aquí está Aníbal. Vamos a ver, a usted lo voy a mandar en este... Move to... Al 3 lo voy a mandar ahorita. Vaya, Aníbal, ya, al 3. ¿Le apareció Aníbal? Sí, bueno. <ríe> Supongo que sí. Ah, Amadeo está solo. Armando Antonio está solo. Ok, Armando, lo voy a mandar al breakup room number three, porque allí no nadie... Y a mi teacher. Usted que, eh, se puede quedar aquí si gusta, para practicar con los compañeros. Ok, teacher, thank Bye. you. Thank you, you're welcome. Ok, you're going to practice, right, the conversation. Ah, Armando ya no se movió. Ok, ah, como no, sí, ya se movió. Rosa, la voy a mover, la voy a tener que mover también, porque no hay nadie más en ese grupo. Ah, pues, room number three. Room number three. Right, ahí están. So, uh, the people who are right now here, uh, we are going to practice the conversation, right? The people who are here right now. Vamos a ver quiénes están aquí. Okay, Ana Ramos, puede ser la letra A. Y Karina Beatriz Núñez, la letra B. Not so good. Teacher, me fui al break, pero me salpó de la plataforma, de aquí de la clase. 
Ah, ok, no problema. Ah, pues quédese aquí, Karina. Eh, Karina okay. Beatriz Núñez va a ser B y Karina Beatriz, uh, yes, Karina Beatriz Núñez va a, ser, va a ser B. Usted va a ser la B. ¿Quién puede okay. ser el A? ¿Ingrid Esmeralda o Ana Ramos? Mi Ingrid. teacher. ¿Quién dijo mí? Ok, Diana. Dayan. Yes. Dayan, letter A. Karina Beatriz Núñez, letter B. ¿Está bien? Ok. Excelente. Dígame con quién voy yo. Ahorita, Ana, después de que ellas practiquen. Oh, how, does, how does David feel? Not so good. What the matters? He has a stomachache. A backache? How did he get it? He played basketball all day. Okay, excellent, very good. Nice, right? He played basketball all day. A basket, right? Okay, Ana Ramos, can you practice with... Quiero ver con... ¿Quién está disponible? Ingrid Meralda? ¿Puede hablar, Ingrid? ¿O ahorita no? Yo, teacher. Karina. Ah, ok, Karina Yamilet. Ok, ah, pues entonces... Uh, Karina Yamilet A, Ana Ramos B. ¿Está bien? Ok, Karina empieza. Karina. How does they be feel? No, so good. What the matter? He has a vacate. He has a vacate. Ese era el mío. Ajá, y ahí sigue Karina. A vacate. Sí, sí, a a sí. vacate. Mm -hmm. Have the heat. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. You play basketball all day. Okay, now, excellent, very good. I'm going to close all the breakout rooms. Okay, now, so, uh -huh. eh, ¿alguien que quiera practicar de los que está, que no ha practicado? Creo que ahorita los que están en esta sesión todos pasaron, ¿verdad? Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos. I, I don't know if you are available to talk, Rosa. O oh, Armando. Okay, Armando already, come, already eh, came back. Okay, so do you have any question about, yes, Armando? Uh, tell me, I hear my name. Ah, uh, no, no, that you came back from the breakout rooms. It's okay. Uh -huh. So do you, you have any question about the pronunciation or about the vocabulary to all of you? Para todos? No, no, right? Remember that it's how did he get it? The letter T between two vowels is going to be as a letter R, right? How did he get it, right? About gay, how did he get it? Solo estoy esperando que regresen los otros compañeros en... How did Six he get it? How did he get How it? How right? did he get it? Yes. What's the matter is a synonym for a WhatsApp, right? A synonym for what's how's go how's it going? Right? Okay, what's very good. Matter? Allí tienen la conversación allí en el en el en el, okay? en el WhatsApp group you have the conversation. Very good. Matter right tiene now. varios significados, teacher. What's the matter? Sí. O what? What's matter. the matter is qué pasa? Eso literalmente es, significa que qué pasa. What's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? Sí, ¿qué pasa? Pero solo ¿Qué? la palabra matter. Eh, matter is haciendo un for important. Es como es importar. No es como es importar. Ok, so we're going to continue with the manual. Es, es que importa. Es algo que importa. So in your manuals, here we go. Yes? Eh, in the case and WhatsApp is the same of what's the matter. Yes, it's the same. It's the same as what's the matter. So yesterday we were talking about what's and where, right? So today we have uh, this homework, right? For today you have this homework about, uh, so the homework is to complete this uh, grammar exercise using did, right? The simple past of did. Did is the auxiliary for the simple past, right? Now, the letter A, so le voy a ir llamando, y usted se puede equivocar, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Como, can you help me to read the instruction? Eh, Ana Ramos, ¿me ayuda a leer la indicación, please? Sí. Esta, esta indicación que está, letter A, here, aquí está, marcándolo. Ok. okay. Complete this conversation, ¿desde ahí? Yes. Complete this conversation. Same practice with a partner. Excellent, right? Ok. Uh, repeat in your house, then practice. Then practice. With. With. 
A partner. A partner. With. With. A with a partner. With a partner. Excellent. Nice pronunciation. In practice with a partner. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now the number one. Can you help me, please? The number one. A volunteer to help me with the number one. What is the auxiliary that you need here for the this. simple class? This. Did, right? Excellent. Much Excellent, time. Armando. Did, right? Did. So here you have did. And then the other one is stayed. Right? Is in pass? Mm, no. No. Why? Stay. Did you stay? Did you stay? Why is not in pass? Because it's a question in pass. For the auxiliary. For the auxiliary. For the auxiliary. Right? For the auxiliary. Did the, 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 the verb comes back to normal, right? Mm -hmm. It's the base form of the verb for the auxiliary. Did you stay yes. on a Saturday? Yeah. No, I... Este no, lo habíamos hecho. no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I didn't. ¿Seguros? No, I didn't. Yes. ¿Seguros? Yes. Este puede ser engañoso, puede ser trampa. Pero aquí tenemos co. ¿Qué hago con el co? Se mantiene. Ah. Se mantiene. No, no. I didn't Fichel. call... My... ¿Ah? Fichel no sería, no hay call. Y el verbo ah, va yes. en, pasado, en, en pasado. No, ah, I didn't esta, call. Esta no sería respuesta corta. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no podría ser una respuesta corta? Porque les está dando más información. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, good point. So you have an extra information y no tenemos el punto aquí. Si tuviéramos el punto ah, aquí sí, sería también. no, uh -huh. I didn't, right? Si tuviéramos el punto aquí después del espacio, ahí sí sería respuesta corta. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Pero en este caso, eh, la... Respuesta corta se quedó hasta el no. I No, yo llamé a mi amigo. I call my friend and we, de paso de ver drive. Por ahí está, aquí al, aquí al lado. En pasado, driving. 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 Sure. Drove. Like this. Drove. Driving. Drove. Solo le cambiamos la I por una. O. Drove. Solo la I por una O. Ahí les mandé una imagen. No. Yes, tell me. No. ¿Sí, Nelson? La, uh, no. la, la literal no. B en la plataforma aparece la secta como el, con el didn't. didn't. I didn't. Call. No, I didn't, I didn't call. No, así. I didn't call, sí. Ah, ok. I didn't Esa call. está oh, en la plataforma. Ah, ok, está bien. Puede ser otra opción. No, yo llamé a mi amigo. O no, o yo no llamé a mi amigo. I withdraw to the B. Así, como está. I didn't, pero si ponemos el didn't, tendría que ser así, ¿verdad? I didn't call. I didn't no, call. I didn't call my friend. Yo Exacto. no llamé a mi amigo, pero después dice, yo no llamé a mi amigo, nosotros conducimos a un café para el almuerzo. Mm, queda raro, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Bueno, porque dice, nosotros conducimos a un café para el almuerzo, o sea, el amigo y él, ¿verdad? Porque, porque dice, we. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, no, I didn't. Bueno, está bien. Está bien, ok, no problem. So, the number two. Ok, the number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, how? How did you? D. How did D. you? How did you? And here? A spend. A spend uh, like this? Spend. In simple pass? No. No, no right? A spend. Ajá, uh -huh. for the, uh, and here in the part B, what is the answer, Armando Antonio? I can hear this. I'm oh, sorry? The letter B is the, the two B. I didn't have. Had. I had. I had. I had, right. I had I a party. Had. Como nos queda una D entre las yes. dos A, I had a party. Everyone, I, I and what about this? Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, right? Enjoyed it. But the neighbors is negative. Neighbor. Didn't like. Didn't like. Didn't like. Si fuera negativo aquí, en el call, tendría que aparecer el not, así como aparece aquí, ¿verdad? Supongo yo. Si fuera negativo. Ajá, ¿verdad? But the neighbors, puede ser error de la plataforma también. ¿Ok? But the neighbors. Didn't, didn't, like, didn't, didn't, like. Like. didn't, didn't like. like. No le gustó el ruido. Didn't like the noise. Now, what about the number three? Uh, Diana Stephanie, me ayuda con la number three. Diana Stephanie Salmerón. What? What do you... 
What did you do? Ajá, excellent, very good. What did you do? Ok. No ponemos That's este nice. do, el segundo do no lo ponemos en pasado porque ya tenemos el did, por eso el verbo vuelve a la normalidad. Last night. El did es auxiliar y el do es verbo principal. Yes, ah, ok. What about the next one? The paso de ver si. Mari Wendy. Ajá. Ajá. I, I saw. saw. I saw. Saw. A 3D movie. A 3D movie. A 3D Cineplex. Cineplex. Excellent, very good. Now the next one. I. I love. I love. I love it. 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 Did. Now the next one, the number four. Did you? Did you do? Did you do, right? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I? Yes, did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, Aquí I la did. respuesta corta. Yes, Miren, did. tiene el punto. Aquí tiene el punto. Aquí se le aparece el punto, por eso es una respuesta corta. Yes, I, yes, I, did. I did. ¿Verdad? Y en esta no tenía punto. Bueno. Ok. So, I go shopping. When? I, I went. went. Very good. I went. I went. Veo que ya han estudiado los verbos. Ok. Unfortunately. Repita en su casa. Unfortunately. 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 I. Unfortunately. Spent. All spent. my money. Now I'm broke. ¿Qué significa I'm broke? Estoy quebrado, no tengo quebrado. dinero. Estoy quebrado. No money. At the time. No money, right? No money. So, no. yes, in break, uh, in break wrapped. So, I, did you go, right? Did you go out on Friday night? No, I, ahí tiene el punto, mire. I, es respuesta corta. No, I didn't. Y aquí, I, invite bye. friends over. Invite, invite. Invited, right? Excellent. Mm -hmm. La T como una R, pues, la entre dos vocales. En I. Friends over. Cooked. 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 No es cooked, ¿verdad? Cooked. 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 Excellent. Very good. Cooked. Ya está listo para el examen, member. You're ready for the exam now. Do you have any questions so far about this? ¿Tienes preguntas sobre esto? Oh, no questions. ¿No tiene ninguna pregunta? ¿Tiene preguntas? No. O oh, sí. calla para siempre. So no question. Is clear like your chara? Is clear like your chara or no? No clear. Is clear like the mud. Es que está claro como, como el, ¿cómo se llama? How do you say mud? El, eh, the chara. No, the mud is el lodo. Bueno, es una expresión que se utiliza en los Estados Unidos. Clear as, as the mud. Ok, so. Ok, look at this conversation. Espérenme, voy a buscar la conversación. Eh, give me a second, please. Give me a second. I have another conversation here for you to practice. Okay, here, look at this conversation. Okay, now, okay, you're going to listen and repeat. Where were you last night? Where were you, where were you last night? Where were you last night? What time? What, what time? time? At about eight. I was at home. Why? Because there was a great party. A great party. At Celia's house. Uh, okay, excellent, right? Okay, at Silas House. There was. There, there, was, was, there was. There was. Too bad I wasn't there. Too bad I wasn't there. Yes, very good. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation so far? Do you have any questions? Okay, this one is where and this one is where. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estos dos where que casi es idéntico? Este es más largo, el primer uh -huh. where es un poco más largo este, uh -huh. que este. Este se dice de una sola vez, el segundo. Where were you last night? Where were you last night? What time? At about uh -huh. eight. At about eight. I was at home. Why? Because there was a great party at Silas house. There was. Too bad I wasn't there. 
Hubo, qué mal que yo no estuve ahí. Do you have more questions about pronunciation? No? No questions. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna send you the picture to the WhatsApp group, right? Okay, it's for you to have it over there. Ah, ya son las 8.41. Super rápido. Okay, so, uh, so right now we're gonna move to the, uh, to your manual, to your real manual. Ahí, tiene, ahí le dejo la conversation. Vamos al, entonces al manual. Eh, okay. So you have a, this reduction of did you. Cuando se pronuncia eh, reducido, ¿verdad? When you pronounce it as a reduction. Ahorita, ahorita, rápido voy a hacer esto. Give me a second. Ah, tengo que conectarle aquí. Okay, move Exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Reduced. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Okay, now we are going to just practice. Give me a second. I am plugging the, the computer. Okay, I was plugging the computer. Okay, listen one more time. Page 45, exercise pero... four, uh, pronunciation. Yes. Okay, Reduction of did you. Did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time, right? Did you have a good time? Pero también como tenemos una eh, de entre la I y la esto, so you can pronounce it as did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Se une la también como la es muda. Se une la V con la have a good time. Did you have a good time? Okay, now. Si quiere, repítale en su casa. Did you, did you, did you have, have a good time? time? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Excellent, very good. Now, next. What did you do last night? Ah, la, la que le decía, ¿verdad? What, what did you do last night? What did you what do, you do you last night? What did you do 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 last night? Okay. Alguien se le trajo ahí el micrófono. What did you do last night? Now, next. The next one, the number three. How did you like the movie? How did you like the movie. How do you like the movie? Excellent. Very good. Nice pronunciation. Y aquí tenemos, eh, so this vocabulary, shorts and activity. Shorts significa actividades, los quehaceres de la casa. Shorts and activities. So you have a with do, with go, with have, with may and take. With, uh, ¿cuáles serían con do? Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles serían con do? Uh -huh. My homework. Do my homework, right? What else? Do, do what? Sorry? No, no, no. no, no. Ok, so, y alguna, dígame sí. otra. O, por ejemplo, ¿cuáles serían con have, con make, con take, con go? Uh -huh. Go a party. Go to a party. Go, okay. Uh, With go, go to a party. Don't say party. Go to a party. Go to a trip. Go to, don't say. Okay, go to a party. Yo buscando go to a party. Go to a trip. Go to... Ahí está, teacher. ¿A dónde está party? Ah, aquí a la par. Ah, aquí. <laughs> yes, excellent. Very good. Go, okay. Uh, pero a party, va, en este caso va con have. Okay. So, go a trip. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Ir a una excursión, go a trip. My, do my homework, a lot of fun. Ok, a lot of... So repeat, please. Do my homework, a lot of fun. Ok, do my homework. Ok, uh, no, a lot of fun creo que va con have. Creo que tener un montón de... O sea, divertirse es have a lot of fun. Yes. Ok, 
Yes, have, back home, have a lot of fun. Divertirse. Take a vacation. Take a vacation, excellent, very good. Take a vacation, okay, take a vacation. What else? Make the bed. Make the bed, yes, make. Make, make a bed. video. Have a good make time. A, okay, make a video. Make a video, make the bed, yes. Make a video. Have a video. Uh -huh. Make a video, could be. Uh -huh. What else? Have a okay. good time. Have a good time, excellent, very good. Have a good time, with orange. Have a good time. Oops. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Go shopping. Go to the lunch. Go. Go shopping. Go shopping. Creo que es este one. Go shopping. Go el rojo. Go shopping. Very good. What else? Go shopping. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Excellent. Do the laundry. ¿Qué más? Son dos para cada uno, ¿verdad? Ya yeah, make is already finished. Have is already finished. Go, go is already out finished. The beach. Go. Go, go to the beach. How the go beach. dancing. Okay, very good. Go dancing. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Go dancing. Ir a bailar. Aha. Take a phone call. Take a phone call. Yes, take a Okay, a phone call, but make a phone call. Make a phone call. Mm -hmm. Make a okay. phone call. Say the dish. Perdón? Say the dish. Say the dish. Ah, the dishes. ¿Cuál verbo iría dishes. con dishes? Like. Perdón? Do the dishes. Do, do. do, do the do. dishes. Do. Ok, do the dishes. Ahí le voy a mandar una imagen que tengo. ¿Cuál es va con do? ¿Cuáles expresiones van con do, con make? Ok, la diferencia principal entre do y make, ambos verbos significan hacer, ¿verdad? La diferencia es que cuando usted utiliza make, al final obtiene algo tangible, casi siempre. Almost all the time, you have something that you can touch. For example, I am making a cake. I am making, I am preparing a cake. I am I'm making a cake. ¿Qué es lo tangible? Al final, el pastel. I am making my bed. Estoy ordenando mi cama. Estoy haciendo mi cama. ¿Qué es lo tangible? La cama ordenada. I make my bed. Y hay unas uh, frases especiales, <coughs> perdón, que usted las utiliza con make y unas frases especiales que usted las utiliza con do. Pero con do tiene la, ¿la qué? La característica de que eh, con do, usted, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, ah, uh, tiene la característica de que con do, eh, usted eh, requiere una actividad física. Por ejemplo, I do my homework. I write. I move my hand. I do. Eh, I do what? I do exercise. Uh, physical activity. I do exercise, right? Ahí les mandé una imagen entre do y make al WhatsApp. Ahí pueden verlas. Con do eh, está relacionado al trabajo, a los empleos, a los ejercicios, actividades no específicas. Uh, replace verb with obvious. Food, drink, and meals, lo que lo decía, algo tangible, ¿verdad? En cambio, make, product, materials, produce a reaction, plans, decisions, speaking, and sounds. That's the difference. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí puede ver la diferencia. En grupo de WhatsApp les mandé la imagen, allí pueden verla después, ¿verdad? Porque ya no hay mucho tiempo. Ok, voy a pasar la asistencia antes de que... Ok, thank you. Antes de que este, se me acabe el tiempo. Ana Graciela Ramos, present. Ok, Anderson Jeremy Molina. Present, ¿verdad? Creo que está ahí. Eh, Andrea María Franco. Armando Antonio Albanés. Armando Present, teacher. Ok. Blanca Stephanie Vázquez. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Karina Beatriz Núñez. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Adolfo García Crespo. Carlos Aníbal Martínez. I'm here. Okay, Daniela Alejandra Martínez. I'm here, teacher. Diana Stephanie Salmerón. I'm here. Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Present, teacher. Elsa Noelia Portillo. 
I'm here. Emma Débora Rodas. Floricia Mengíbar. Ah, ve, yo no, no he el video. No me dicen que no he encendido el video. Ok, present, dijo Carlos Adolfo. Ok, that's nice. Ok, eh, me quedé en Floricia. Henry Alexander Hidalgo. In Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo. Present, teacher. Ok, Jaime Iván. I am here, teacher. Karina Yamilet González. I'm here, teacher. Carla Gabriela. María Imelda. María Imelda. Ok. La siguiente es María Wendy Rodríguez. Present, right? I'm here, teacher. Excellent, very good. Ok. Eh, eh, vamos después de María Wendy. Marisol de Los Ángeles Cortés. Present, teacher. Ok. Ma Mauricio Alberto Jiménez. Nelson Rutilio Orellana. Present, teacher. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Belloso Ruiz. Present, present, teacher, present. Ok, Ronald Alexander Rodríguez. Ronald. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos. Ruth Noemí Núñez de Pertica. De Pertica, right? Ruth Noemí Núñez. Y Tamara Alexander, right? Okay, now questions do you have? Do you have any questions so far about this? Tiene alguna pregunta? Huh? No, no question. Ah, y el WhatsApp dijo alguien present, Tamar dijo, ¿verdad? También Carlos Adolfo y okay, solamente yo. Okay, so I'm gonna explain you the other este el was el where lo vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Was in where. For tomorrow, you're going to have uh, to talk about your childhood. Ahí les mandé una imagen para hablar de su niñez. Por ejemplo, la imagen que les mandé decía, <coughs> quiero ver, la imagen que les mandé decía, ¿dónde está? So, ahí tienen la imagen en el WhatsApp, se la voy a reenviar ahorita. Ah, ok, también la otra imagen se la voy a mandar porque van a ser dos oraciones, ¿verdad? De esas. Ahí está. I'm gonna talk about me as a child. I was shy, I was thin, my hair was very long, my favorite TV program was Hey Arnold, my favorite hobby was to ride my bike. Ahí en el WhatsApp está. Entonces van a hablar de su childhood, ¿verdad? De su eh, niñez. Oraciones simples, por ejemplo, yo era tímido, I was shy, eh, I was thin, yo era delgado, uh, my hair was very long, mi cabello era muy largo, was short, entonces, eh, my favorite TV program was, y no sé, y me dice su, este, programa favorito de televisión. Y uh, my favorite hobby, su favorite hobby was, cuál era su eh, pasatiempo favorito, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿tiene preguntas? ¿Questions so far? No. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, y, y fuera de eso, y no podemos pedir que en el otro módulo se nos dé la clase, no se puede. Ajá. Hay que decirle este, a la coordinadora Elena. Este, a ella se le dice para que yo continúe. Elena. Okay. Uh -huh. Creo que está en el grupo. Let me check. If it is in the group, let me see. Quiero ver. Elena, Elena, Elena. Uh, no está aquí. Pero ahí le voy a mandar el contacto entonces. Uh -huh. Por favor. Sí. Ok. <ríe> no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for taking me, take, take me into account. Ok. If you so, want uh, teachers. Hola. Only if you want to teach us. Ah, ok, yeah, sure, of course, yes. <laughs> ah, sí, primero Dios que sí. Que este, con esto del movimiento de Insafor, estamos todos... De... No, sí. Ok. Eh... Vuelvo a entrar. Eh, ok, con esto de, ¿cómo se llama? Con esto de, este, de Insafor, que es, lo está siendo absorbido por otra institución. Este, no sabemos qué es lo que va a pasar este, para el próximo año, si van a reducir los grupos, todavía no se sabe todo eso, ¿verdad? Pero bien, primero Dios que sigamos con eh, los grupos y primero Dios que también les siga enseñando a ustedes, ¿ok? Of course, I want. Ok, so... Uh, ¿Qué see. institución, Tiche? Eh, se, se llama Instituto Nacional... No me acuerdo el nombre. Incof, algo así creo que se, se, se llama. Entonces va a desaparecer en esa forma. Fíjese que... Es... El Inco. Ajá, sí, es que no es que vaya a desaparecer. O bueno, Ay, dicho, va a ser renombrado. Bien. Va a ser renombrado, por decirlo así. Entonces, 
Eh, por eso es que algunos les mandaron los mensajes de eso de las becas, que como dice Ford, es posible que ya no siguiera, si usted quiere seguir estudiando, entonces, pero era pagado. Pero primero Dios tengamos la fe de que este Insafor siga dando los cursos de inglés para que usted siga aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, como ahorita, o sea, este, este, los, que, los jefes de nosotros sienten que como que se están en la cuerda floja de que van a ser contratados, no van a ser contratados, va a seguir, no va a seguir. Entonces, hay muchas dudas sobre al respecto de la continuación de los grupos de Insafor. Entonces, es de tener paciencia, ¿verdad? Es de tener paciencia y, eh, bueno, pues sí, ¿verdad? El primero Dios que se siga. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. So, okay. any questions so far? Okay. Entonces, para mañana tiene dos tareas. La primera tarea es dos oraciones de las expresiones que le mandé allí, y la otra tarea es de hablar sobre about your childhood, like the picture that I sent you, right? Okay. 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 So, see you tomorrow, people. Take care. Good night. Good night, papá. See you tomorrow. Haga las tareas. Siga la plataforma, por favor. Los que no la han terminado. Siga la plataforma. Okay. Siga la plataforma. Okay. Le ayudamos por cualquier duda que tenga. Ok. So, see you tomorrow. Take care, people. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ok, see you tomorrow, Carlos Adolfo. Yes, you are.